Hi, welcome to Caternix Corner. My name's Terry. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about selective breeding and how we go about selecting our breeders for our different breeding projects, uh, whether it be for our production birds or our color lines, um, will determine the different traits and requirements that the birds need to meet in order to be selected for that breeding project. Uh, basically, selective breeding is nothing more than selecting birds which are going to promote or enhance traits that you find desirable in your uh, breeding program. Uh, whether those traits are weight or coloration or patterns, um, they can all be enhanced using selective breeding. Okay, so we recently went through and we culled out a bunch of our older hens and roosters uh, from last year's breeding stock. And at the same time, uh, we hatched out a bunch of fresh chicks um, that we can choose our new stock from. Um, these guys here are about uh, 10, 10 and a half weeks old. And I've actually already gone through and selected the new breeders for this year. But I thought I would uh, take this time to show you guys the criteria that we look for when we're selecting breeders. Okay, these are Jumbo Browns or Jumbo Wilds. And to the first thing that we look for when we're selecting our Jumbo Wild breeders is the first criteria is weight. Uh, the hens need to reach 10 ounces by 10 weeks or 300 grams by 10 weeks. And the uh, males or the roosters need to be at least eight and a half ounces or 250 grams by 10 weeks. Um, these birds at maturity are going to be anywhere between 14 and 16 ounces. Uh, some of them get a little bit bigger than that, but for the, for the bulk of them, they're gonna be in between the 14 and 16 ounce range. Um, so like I say, the first thing we look at is the weight of the bird. Uh, the next thing we look at is overall health. Um, what I'll do is grab a little hen here. Um, what we'll do is we'll weigh the bird first, and if they make weight, uh, the next thing that we look at, we'll just go through and inspect the bird. Um, we inspect the wings uh, just to make sure that... Uh, you know, all the feathers are present. Um, look for overall health, you know, bright, clear eyes, uh, no deformities of the beak, um, no deformity of the uh, feet or the toes. We don't have any curled toes. So basically you're looking for um, overall health of bird. Um, the next thing that we look into is birds that are prone to aggressiveness. Um, you can see she's pretty much tame just sitting here in my hand. So. Um, I know that she's going to make a good hen. So that one made the cut and, and she goes in the cage with the rest of the breeders. Okay, we'll also look at the lineage or the genetics of the bird uh, just to make sure that that's a bloodline that we want to continue working with. Uh, for example, if a uh, bloodline continually produces traits that we find desirable, we will keep them in our breeding program. Um, or if we're trying to diversify our gene pool a little bit, uh, we may add a new line. Uh, but we'll watch that line really closely because we want to make sure that we're not introducing an undesirable trait that could mess up the line that we're actually working with now. Okay, another line that we um, have in our breeding program is the Jumbo Whites. Um, some people call them Texas A&Ms um, or Recessive Whites. Uh, the Texas A&M was a bird that was bred at the Texas A&M University to be a large white meat bird. And because I can't prove that this lineage that I have originates from that Texas A&M lines, we just call ours Jumbo Whites or Recessive Whites. Um, but basically they have the same criteria as when we're choosing our Jumbo Wilds. Um, they're gonna run a little bit smaller than the Jumbo Wilds, uh, probably closer to the 12 to 14 ounce range at maturity. Um, but right now we're just trying to work with this line and a couple other lines that we brought in to see if we can't you know increase that weight to be a little bit closer to the uh the jumbo wilds okay so i'd like to talk a minute uh, about how we go about selecting breeders for our colored birds uh, breeding program such as the schofield silvers or the german pastels or the italians and golden manchurians uh, we have a little bit different criteria when selecting these birds um, we don't worry so much about weight as we do about coloration and pattern. Um, if we 
find a color that we find desirable or that I think is you know extremely attractive I'll try to, to narrow in on that color and see if I can't continually produce that color and with the end goal in mind if you can get it to breed true uh, then you can actually introduce it to the public um, as a new line or a new coloration you'll also want to be aware of hidden traits uh, hidden traits are basically traits that don't have an outwardly appearance uh, when you're selecting your breeders. Um, they are usually genetic in nature and can produce uh, anything from overly aggressive birds um, to chicks which uh, have a high mortality rate or failure to thrive. So you want to you want to keep that in mind uh, when you're selectively or when you're selecting your breeders. Uh, which brings me to my next thing, and that is genetics. Um, if you're going to be running a good selective breeding program, you should have at least a basic understanding of genetics um, and understand terms like, uh, you know, homozygous and heterozygous and, you know, know what they mean. Um, there's also something called the uh, Punit Square, which um, you can Google that, look it up, but it's basically a square which shows, you know, if you breed this hen with this rooster, it gives you the uh, various outcomes uh, that you can get. So, guys, I hope this gave you a little bit better idea on how I select my breeders for my breeding program and a little bit better understanding of what you're looking for uh, when you are selectively choosing birds for your breeding program. Um, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out, and you'll get notifications of any new and upcoming videos. Uh, thanks again for joining me today, guys, and we will see you on the next one.